back to our Let's Play of uh, Mega Man X, folks. This is part two, and we're off to the frozen level of Chill Penguin. <laughs> As you get the idea, chill kind of means like frozen and snowy, and here we are. This level isn't too bad. Um, since it's at the very beginning of the game, the, the levels themselves are more devastating than the actual boss, if you're not careful enough. I'm a seasoned veteran at this game, and I still have some issues from time to time. But I play this game so recreationally that it just really doesn't matter. See? You just gotta take things to the chin. Again, this isn't a hard game to play. It's very enjoyable. I find it to be very rewarding. Most of these enemies can be taken out with the mild blast, as you can see there. So you've got to just quickly charge it up. You can also do the rapid fire machine blast, as I call it, or the machine gunning. I prefer to just uh, kind of quick blast these guys, because little fuck bag. That you end up running into a little problem that way. The platforming in this stage could be a little janky, but just hang in there. It's about to get a lot easier. This here is called a Dr. Light Castle, and we're about to find out what it's about. So, you've come. I gave you the ability... X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers. Beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule X and receive an ac acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. That is Dr. Thomas Light. And he's from the original Mega Man series. And it is highly speculated that he created a Mega Man X in order to ensure the future once you die. These here are your dash beats. Fantastic little things here. And one little thing to keep in mind here. If you dash and shoot your little pellet blast here, it does do a little bit more damage that way. So. It's not considerably enough, but it's enough to make a difference. But these dash beats are probably my favorite favorite power-up in a lot of these earlier video games. As you can see, it definitely makes scaling levels faster. This is a ride armor. Uh, you can use your fire button to punch, and you can dash like you could normally now with your dash beats. Uh, normally we need to go down the bottom path, but we're going to go up here because I'm going to show you what we're going to do when we need to come back. Because some of this stuff, some of this game is backtracking. Up here are little uh, houses and huts where little dragonfly type creatures come out of. That's going to be important to remember once we get Flame Mammoth's weapon. We'll come back and I'll show you what that's all about in a future video. These assholes like to create big snowballs and throw shit at you. It can be tasky, but they're not too hard to dispatch. Alright, and here we are. As we enter the, the screw doors, or the boss fight door. And we're here to chill Penguin. Fairly easy guy. When he creates his uh, penguins of his, all you gotta do is just kind of blast him. As long as he keeps doing that, all you have to do is just kind of hit him. This is easy to dodge as well. All you got to do is slide under him too when he moves. I mean, this is probably the easiest fight in the game. Ooh. I didn't need to take that hit. But as you can see, I'm just kind of machine gunning my way through this. He does have a little dash there that does do considerable damage. But, I mean, this guy is not difficult at all. As you can see, you can easily evade him. And that's it. Just blast him, charge blast him. Use whatever technique you feel appropriate. This is not hard. Yeah. 
you get shotgun ice. It shows you a tutorial of what that looks like. I might show you that with the next uh, person we come across. Now, there is a weakness order in this game that you can go by. I'm not going to go ahead and do that because there is a guy that I want to introduce you to real quickly and hopefully I can beat his level in a relatively fashionable fashion. If not, we'll continue it on the next video. But here's Storm Eagle. As you notice, his one hand is very similar to Mega Man X. He has a buster on it. I'm going to stay quiet for most of this level. That way you can enjoy the epic theme that is Storm Eagle's stage. One thing I am going to say is that you got to dash from the very top here. This is called a heart tank. As you can see, it bumps your life meter up. That's always helpful. So go ahead and enjoy the theme for a bit, and when I need to talk, I'll talk again. Well, that was disappointing. Okay, so you really want to avoid that. <laughs> To say the least. These do these guys do respond, so be very careful. And up here, folks, behind this blue mech robot. is our first energy tank. What's special about this, as I go to the pause menu here, is down there it says sub tank. That, you can actually store up energy when you have full health, and it'll go into that tank. And after a certain amount of time, you can use that tank to replenish your health energy. You get four total tanks in this whole game, so keep an eye out for this stuff. I'll show you where to find all that as we continue on here. The platforming section here isn't too bad, but be careful because just like earlier where you saw me plunge to my death, that's exactly what's going to happen here. Again, this isn't complicated stuff, folks. If you've played any type of platforming game like Mario or Sonic or any of that before, I mean, this is, this is easy peasy lemon squeezy here. All right, right here is a little section I like to annihilate from time to time. It's easier once you get the Storm Tornado or once you get a uh, Flame Mammoth's weapon. But considering that in order to get Storm Tornado, we got to beat Storm Eagle. I do a few full blast shots to this and it eventually goes away. This is a nice little hidden secret. You get a little extra man. Well, I would have three lives normally, but as you can see, I died. This is not hard to avoid, so that guy shoots his flamethrower. We'll scale this little building here. And down here, folks, as we dash halfway from, is another area. We'll just sheen gun it. And here is our second power up. This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet, which will allow you to break some ceilings with a headbutt. And we went from one of my favorite to one of my least favorite power-ups in the Mega Man X series. This legitimately is only created so you can bust blocks with your brain. That's it. Little fun fact is you can also use your boots to do the same thing as you can see right there. So why the hell do I need this shit? Anyway... We'll proceed up this way. As you can see there's another life up there. We're gonna go back and grab that quick. Scale through this. And when we come back next video, we'll continue on. Stay tuned to the Frosty Friends, and I'll see you next video when we attack Storm Eagle.